In what is becoming a trend, by the way, reconnect, Mike, your uh, audio. We're getting a lot of complaints about uh, tinniness. So uh, disconnect and reconnect. As far as it says, what is becoming a trend regarding previously announced, uh, and this person, by the way, let me start over again. This is from WrestlingObserver.com. In what is becoming a trend, did I mention that I didn't write this? Okay. In what is becoming a trend regarding previously announced WWE programming, the Steve Austin Broken Skull Sessions episode with Kevin Nash that was set to debut Sunday is no longer on the schedule for either Peacock or the network. Change first reported by WWE Network News. As of now, no reason has been given why it was pulled, and neither Austin nor Nash have commented on what is going on. This is the third time in recent weeks that a previously advertised show has been pulled with virtually no notice. It began in June with WWE Untold, The Nexus, and then WWE Icons, Lex Luger, which was set to air last weekend. Nash episode was set to wrap up NWO Week on the network, commemorating the creation of the faction 25 years ago. The week has featured a best of the NWO, and X-Pac also appeared on something called The Bump. I don't know what it is. Still, after all this time, still don't know what it is? It's some show. I don't know where it airs or anything like that. Someday they'll tell me on on national television, and then maybe I'll tune in. But usually they just say we got a a, a bump exclusive, and then it airs on SmackDown, which means it's not an exclusive. I'm not really quite sure how that works, but... When was this Nash one supposed to air? Well, uh, should I read it again here? Well, yeah, because I was reconnecting at the time. Today. Hmm. Well, there's no pay-per-view today for WWE, and maybe that's what it is where they maybe want to change this whole schedule around and attach these types of things to Peacock special events like Money in the Bank and everything else we used to call a pay-per-view. Maybe. Okay, I'm not saying you're. Good, I'm not good saying of a theory is any I'm not, right now. I'm not saying them. you're wrong, Mike. <laughs> but can I ask you a question? Sure. You're telling me they found out yesterday that Money in the Bank wasn't this week, but it was next week. Brian, if they want to tie it to a pay per view, then announce it for the pay per view weekend. Dude, what if I told you that they did 52 weeks of TV, and and you know that a Monday or a Friday is coming every single week, and they still didn't figure out a way to build to it coherently and not make any changes. So you're telling doesn't me... It, doesn't it fit the, the MO of the company right now with how they change well, things? Well, of, of course it does. But, I mean, yes. The, the point is, like, if you want to tie it to a pay-per-view, then, you know, look on the calendar, find out the date of the pay-per-view, and then announce that the premiere is on that date. Don't announce it the week prior and then be stunned. Wait a second. The pay-per-view is next week? Oh, we should delay it strategic guerrilla uh and by the way it's three marketing here you must have missed that part when you were disconnected this What's is the that? third time in recent weeks that they have announced so you're telling Rex. me that they had three different shows and all three we uh, doesn't make any sense vince's revenge we're doing it on who lex luger Ugh. lex if you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.